So I am a chemical engineer at Solvay. Um, right now, my position is called a melt processing engineer, um, which, so I'm working at our polymers uh, research site right now. Um, and as a melt processing engineer, I work on um, kind of what it sounds like when they have to melt the polymers and mold them um, into different different kinds of shapes or um, add things to them to make them really strong um, for like the automotive industry, um, for aerospace applications, things like that. Um, and so as a chemical engineer, just in general, um, I work a lot on um, trying to improve processes um, that have already been put in place most of the time. So here I've been um, trying to improve some of our workflows and some of our processes. Um, and that's been really exciting to, my favorite part of it is just being able to to kind of work on these projects and then see the improvement and see the data and results from that. Um, I'm really inspired by ladies, girls like you, just to be very clear, because that's what we, that's what I see how we can make the difference. So I'm a chemical engineer too. I went through a lot of things, but what I mainly really like, and when I look back, because I'm quite a while in business now, I'm where I could develop new applications, new things with our customers. So one of the examples is the, the smartphone when I started in polymers and uh, then a smartphone didn't exist. It had the size of like a huge part. During the last, we have been working with Nokia, uh, Nokia sorry, and now and with Apple then, we developed really what the new phones are about and make them small and big screens and what, with strong plastics and, and, and also so. This is just, it's so exciting to see where we started from maybe 10,000 parts, 10,000 phones, and now we're at hundreds and billions of phones. And that's, uh, I have seen the start of that and, and lived with it. So very exciting. I'm um, really excited by the business part. And that's what I also want to give with here. So great to see you all here. Um, I was looking, I know I've been through many, that's the advantage of the chemical industry or, or the STEM, you can go in different applications. So, so today I'm involved in vanillin. Yeah, vanillin, you know it from the beans, but we make it in Solve also in a synthetic way. And this is, you see it here a bit, the, the why this is vanillin powder, this is a very good taste. But we make it now also from rice. So we ferment it and we make it from a part, a waste stream of, of, uh, of rice. So, so just to tell you, this is something I'm working on to, with our teams today and which we're going to change the world with. Yeah? Um, I am a mechanical engineer, uh, a little bit of a rarity in our chemical company. Um, I work in the composite um, side of things, which means that we make materials that are um, resin infused fabrics or resin infused fibers and um, it is for light weighting um, so these go on to planes go on to helicopters uh, go on to spaceships um, to make the material more to make the plane itself more light so that you reduce fuel so that's a part of the sustainability part right so um, this I guess this piece um, would be a piece that goes on to uh, one of our military planes. And um, it is about uh, probably 50 uh, plies, 50 pieces of our material all stacked together and compressed with heat and pressure, right? So it becomes a really hard piece that is uh, a lot lighter than metal, um, but um, as strong as metal. Right? So it's a very innovative, Kind of material. Um, uh, we're getting into the vertical aerospace kind of business. Um, so for air taxis, um, that's going to be coming up in the next few years.